hi there this is uh, Shrikant Sari so in this uh, tutorial uh, we are going to learn about uh, how to uh, use NetBeans IDE uh, to work with uh, XML okay so there is a lot of uh, confusion uh, for the very beginners how to use uh, NetBeans IDE uh, to create XML files and work with uh, XML files uh, uh, using JavaScript or CSS or uh, uh, so many things okay so first what I'm going to do is uh, so first let me create a project here a uh, new project so unfortunately uh, in NetBeans we don't have a separate category for uh, XML files here so we rely on uh, HTML uh, actually uh, uh, if you take HTML and a simple HTML application uh, that does not uh, matter to us uh, so I am just naming the project as uh, XML uh, intro or something like this okay so next next if you keep on uh, uh, clicking and you finally you get the project created here okay uh, okay so here we got uh, a simple HTML uh, project uh, created uh, for which we are very familiar here so if you come to the uh, projects section here uh, so there are a lot of uh, projects uh, so many projects are there here uh, which I have uh, created already so what I'm uh, doing is uh, just um, uh, double clicking uh, or right clicking on the site root here okay so this is my project which I have uh, just created I'm just right clicking on that project and I'm taking a new XML document here okay so you can uh, you can take a new uh, document or else you can have a uh, click on other options also so you get so many options here uh, so that is not necessary here uh, so we just click new uh, XML document okay so finally you have uh, a document here and let us say uh, something like this document as business card uh, or something like this okay so business card uh, dot XML or uh, okay so I have just well formed it is saying it as well formed or DTD or constrained or something like this just keep uh, by default it's well formed so just uh, keep it that only and click finish here so finally you get the XML uh, document uh, generated here, generated here uh, to work with some content okay so if you go to the project section uh, you have uh, here the business card dot XML and the index dot HTML page so now uh, this thing matters to us so if I uh, already I have uh, some XML documents here uh, created for me I can straight away uh, copy that content uh, and uh, you can uh, uh, place that uh, in your uh, uh, data in your uh, what we call uh, uh, XML file here okay so I'm just uh, uh, copying the code whatever I have written there and coming back to NetBeans and I'm just uh, pasting the code here okay so I'm very uh, lazy enough to type all these things here uh, so readily we have a small XML file uh, uh, which tells about all the uh, business card details uh, so very, you're very familiar with all these things uh, visiting card or something like this so uh, in order to just let me save this uh, okay so this is a very uh, basic uh, HTML uh, XML document uh, also we have a style sheet for this uh, for a couple of seconds uh, let us look into that uh, separately so we have XML file here so if you want to view this XML uh, file uh, what you're going to do is uh, simply if you uh, run the HTML uh, if you click the run button nothing, nothing happens here uh, that's not going to work because it just displays uh, the HTML uh, content but not the XML so uh, with the help of uh, NetBeans uh, if you right click here and if you uh, if you right click on the business.xml file and if you click on view it automatically uh, brings uh, the browser so whatever the default browser is there uh, it's just straight away uh, displays everything uh, the content here okay <laughs> because since we have uh, uh, kept the CSS file here uh, sorry the CSS thing uh, that's the reason it is uh, showing it for the time being let me uh, remove this one uh, remove this line here okay the CSS line here and just me uh, let me save that and uh, let me once again go to the project section here and right click on and click view okay so if you click on view uh, so what happens is uh, the exact document uh, gets displayed here and you have uh, all these uh, expanding buttons uh, so how many there are uh, two business cards here in our XML file if you take a look here uh, once again and there are uh, two business cards uh, one's name is Joe Marini and the second uh, one name is uh, something else or something like this and if you uh, go to your uh, 
a browser uh, and if you uh, reload your page once again uh, or else let me execute it once again here okay so execute, execute uh, sorry not executing uh, run file uh, here it is okay so if you click on uh, this uh, tiny uh, triangle it just expands uh, and if you collapse if you click on once again it collapses okay so nothing uh, nothing exciting here uh, so whatever the content you have written uh, it just got displayed but this is not uh, uh, anything uh, uh, useful for us uh, so what we have to do is uh, if, we, if you take uh, the example where we have taken uh, we need to add uh, CSS uh, content or CSS uh, to this XML file uh, to display it uh, correctly. Okay, so I'm just adding that line here, uh, external CSS file, uh, which whose name is uh, business card dot CSS. Okay, so I have this uh, CSS file also with me. Uh, let me. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just copying that uh, CSS file, uh, and I'm just going to my uh, NetBeans uh, projects. And I'm right clicking on the site root and I'm, what I'm doing is I'm just you can just paste here okay so NetBeans is an awesome ID and you can just put your uh, uh, all the projects in within your uh, all the files within your uh, project uh, site root directory and if you uh, come back uh, to your uh, business card XML and if you save everything and if you go back to your projects and if you right click and view it once again in your uh, browser so now the things got changed okay so you get uh, good styling here uh, based on the business card dot uh, css file which we have uh, just added here okay so all these styles gets you, you might be familiar with a language called uh, css uh, cascading style sheets uh, which is used with along with html uh, files to apply some styles to them so we can use uh, uh, CSS for our XML files also, but that is not a, a good practice. Uh, instead of using uh, CSS, we need to use uh, XSLT. Okay, so there is a new uh, syntax uh, which is related to XML. Uh, so we look into XSLT in uh, further lessons. So for the time being, uh, so we are get just getting familiar with how to use uh, the NetBeans IDE for uh, developing uh, XML uh, programs. So to revise once again, uh, after creating a project, uh, you need to have an XML file uh, just you can uh, get some XML file on the online or wherever you will get so many XML examples here so if you uh, if you don't have this uh, style uh, sheet or attach it to your XML document uh, the exact document gets displayed here as it is as it has been in the previous case and if you have uh, some uh, styling and uh, uh, style sheet uh, attached to your XML document, uh, which is something like this, uh, what what we are doing in this style sheet is that uh, for each and every uh, tag uh, we are applying uh, some styles here. Okay, so like business card and there is also a name, a name thing, a phone and everything. Okay, so we are just uh, uh, adding uh, some uh, styles uh, to those uh, tags which we have uh, created. Okay, so in that way. Um, so it is very uh, helpful for us okay so uh, so if you run this uh, file or uh, you can't run here you can just right click and view uh, on your uh, browser uh, based on the default browser uh, your xml files uh, get displayed with uh, the styles applied here okay so this is all about uh, introducing ourselves with uh, xml in uh, netbeans id so see you in the next lesson goodbye